welcome. We're going to make uh, demonstrate the new Revolve feature in AutoCAD MEP. This right here is an air and dirt separator uh, for piping, and the Revolve command can now be used to make uh, shapes similar to this, where it's slightly round on one side, it's, it's a cylinder, um, you know, basically has a rounded side on this as well, um, and will revolve, basically a, a revolve around a central axis. Um, we could do this in the past, but it was a lot of extra steps that were just um, really complex. So I have a cut sheet here, and basically I've modeled some of these dimensions here. And I've already drawn in the legs. Uh, and now we're just going to demonstrate the revolve command itself. So now let's do the revolve, which is the new feature. Now that we're kind of happy with, with our uh, profile, select profile to revolve. It's going to be this guy. Select axis. It's going to be that guy. Angle of revolution. This is where it's nice. Is is you can do it 360, which is what most cylinders are going to be. But you can also do a um, you know slices or wedges. And there we go. Now we have ourselves a 3D body. Pretty, huh? <laughs> There we go. So there's the 3D body for our part. And then to finish this off, we'd probably add a cylinder on top and a cylinder on bottom for the air relief valve and the dirt leg and add connectors on the sides. And then we'd come into our size parameters and we would add in the dimensions from our cut sheet here. So we'd add those dimensions in there and we would be done. But that essentially is the new Revolve feature um, that we added. And it would have been very difficult to make this shape right here without the Revolve feature or any more complicated profile um, type of, of modifier. So that's the new Revolve feature. Um, we have other new features added here into Content Builder. I'll be demonstrating those in other videos. Thank you very much.